Here is a nice little project, an AM FM transmitter. Went down to the shack to get some resistors and some wire. I had everything else, a variable capacitor out of an old radio, and I already had NPN transistors and capacitors, other capacitors. And here I am using a AA battery to form the coil. Now, this AM FM transmitter, as the name implies, it will broadcast on the AM band and the FM band, but I'm going to choose FM since I've already done an AM transmitter. Now you can see that the coil has got 10 turns, and I also chose to add a wire on the third turn, an extra wire. So now I've got three connections for this coil. And here I am experimenting, figuring out what the bias resistor should be. I'm using a variable resistor. And here's the finished product. As you can see, I shortened the coil. I've only got five turns now and I'm using the small side of the variable capacitor. Here's the wiring diagram and as you can see it's very simple and this will tune up nicely on the FM band but I will demonstrate that you can tune it down into the AM band. Now when I do the demonstration of uh, the FM transmitter, if you hear the sound crack or pop, uh, that's due to the microphone in the camera. Okay, this little transmitter will transmit on both AM and FM. I'm only using this one for FM. I'm going to hook this one up and we can get on the AM band here. Turn on the AM radio. Okay. Wipes out that station. Now I'm going to disconnect that larger variable capacitor and I'm going to turn on the FM radio there we go and here I'm going to use this little player here to modulate it put this on a, on a metal shield, keep it from doing that. It would be a good idea to put this in a metal box. It would make it very stable. But it also would be a good idea to uh, use some kind of 
form to stabilize the coils because if you don't the way that they are here the physical movement will cause FM modulation which is kind of interesting. I'm 